In lesson four, in module four, lesson 19, we're going to practice substituting to evaluate addition and subtraction expressions. So looking at the opening exercise, we have a table set up that shows my older sister is exactly two years older than I am. Sharing a birthday is both fun and annoying. And every year on our birthday, we have a party, which is fun, she always brags that she is two years older than I am, which is annoying. Shown below is the table of our ages starting when I was born. Zero and two, one and three, etc. Looking at the table, what patterns do you see? So after you talk to a partner, I'm sure you'll notice uh, several things, probably that each line increases by one, and that if you add two to the left side, you'll get the answer in the right side. On the day I turned eight years old, how old was my sister? If we recognize the patterns in that way, we would know then that the sister was 10. And you know that because you add 2 to my age to get my sister's age. On the day I turned 16 years old, how old was my sister? The sister was 18. How do you know? Again, you add 2 Do we need to extend the table to calculate these answers? Hopefully not. That was a pretty basic example. What if you don't know how old I am? Let's use a variable for my age. Let y equal my age in years. Can you develop an expression to describe how old my sister is. Hopefully we can. Y plus 2. And they ask us to add that to the last row in the table. I guess we'll do that in the table below. Now, how old was I when my sister was six years old? Four. How old was I when my sister was 15 years old? 13. How do you know? Because, and remember, we're going backwards now. We know that my age is two years less than my sister's age. So if we look at the table in example two, if you know my sister's age, can you determine my age? Yes, you should be able to. We're subtracting two. And if we use the variable g for my sister's age in years, what expression would describe my age in years? It would be g minus 2. Then we can calculate how old I was when my sister was 22. That would be 20, 23, and 24. g minus 2 in each case. All right, to practice with the exercises. Noah and Carter are collecting box tops for their school. 
They each bring in one per day, starting on the first day of school. However, Carter had a head start because his aunt sent him 15 box tops before school began. Noah's grandma saved 10 box tops, and Noah added those on his first day. We're going to find fill in the missing values that indicate the total number of box, top, box tops each boy brought to school. Remember, they are each bringing in one per day. So if Noah started with the 11, that was the 10 that his grandma gave him, plus the f one that he brought in the first day, then on day two he would have 12, day three would have 13, day four would be 14, and day five would be 15. On the other hand, Carter started with 15 and added his 1 when he brought it in the first day. So on the second day, he has 17, and then 18, and then 19, and then 20. If we let D be the number of days since the new school year began, on day D of school, how many box tops will Noah have brought to school? So, with D being the days of school, Noah will have brought in D plus 10. Because remember, Noah's grandmother gave him 10 box tops to start with. So the number of days of school plus 10 will tell us how many he brought into school. On day D of school, how many box tops will Carter have brought to school? Again, D is the number of days of school, but Carter started with 15. So he will have brought D plus 15. So then we can use those expressions to find out how many box tops Noah would have brought to school on day 10. And his expression D plus 10 can be substituted. It's day 10, so D will be substituted with 10, and 10 plus 10 equals 20. So Noah will have brought 20 box tops to school on day 10. On day 10 of school, how many box tops will Carter have brought to school? Well, Carter's was D plus 15, and so we'll substitute 10 plus 15 equals 25, and then we know that Carter will have brought 25 box tops to school on day 10. Second problem. Each week the primary school recycles 200 pounds of paper. The intermediate school also recycles the same amount, but had another 300 pounds left over from summer school. The intermediate school custodian added this extra 300 pounds to the first recycle week. We're going to number the weeks and record the amount of paper recycled by both schools. Primary school being like our elementary schools and intermediate school being like our middle school. So we'll number our weeks first. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll look at the primary school. Primary school recycles 200 pounds of paper and did not have anything left over from summer. So in the first week, primary school is 200 and then 200 more in the second week, 200 more in the third week, fourth week, and last, the fifth week. The intermediate school, on the other hand, had the 300 pounds to start with, and they're recycling the same amount every week, 
so they're going to have 500, but then they're going to add 200 every week. And we see their totals the same way. If this trend continues, what will be the total amount collected for each school on week 10? So in week 10, the primary school will have recycled 2,000 pounds and the intermediate school will have recycled 2,300, uh, right? Remember, the only difference in between the two is the extra 300 pounds that was recycled on the first day of school. So when we get to week 10, the intermediate school will have recycled the same 2,000 pounds, except there is an extra 300 pounds from the original week. Next, we have Shelley and Kristen, who share a birthday, but Shelley is five years older. We need to make a table showing their ages every year, beginning when Kristen was born. So this will be Shelly, and the other will be Kristen. We absolutely must label these tables. Shelly is five years older. So when Kristen was born, When Kristen was born and was zero years old, Shelley was five. And of course they increase by one year every year. And so we can look at the pattern. If Kristen is 16 years old, how old is Shelley? Remember, Shelley is five years older. So that would mean that Shelley is 21 years old. If Kristen is K years old, how old is Shelley? Shelley is K plus five. And if Shelley is S years old, how old is Kristen? Remember, Shelley is older. So Kristen is S minus 5. And of course it depends on which person you're talking about or which item you're talking about, how you set it up. Practice with the problem set in the same way. Make sure you're specific.